The FIFA World Cup trophy that was stolen not once but twice. The Jules Rimet trophy was the original prize for winning the FIFA World Cup. Originally called Victory, but generally known simply as the World Cup or Coupe du Monde, it was renamed in 1946 to honor the FIFA president Jules Rimet who in 1929 passed a vote to initiate the competition. It was designed by French sculptor Abel Lafleur and made of gold-plated sterling silver on a lapis lazuli base. In 1954 this base was replaced with a taller version to accommodate more winners' details. It stood 35 centimeters, 14 inches, high and weighed 3.8 kilograms, 8.4 pounds. It comprised a decagonal cup, supported by a winged figure representing Nike, the ancient Greek goddess of victory. The Jules Rimet trophy was taken to Uruguay for the first FIFA World Cup. The first team to be awarded the trophy was Uruguay, the winners of the 1930 World Cup. The first theft. The Jules Rimet trophy placed in an exhibition four months before the 1966 World Cup tournament. The exhibition was held in the Westminster Central Hall. Guards stood beside the display cabinet when the exhibition was open, but nobody was watching the trophy all the time. On Sunday 20th of March, when the guards began a noon circuit, around 12.10 they noticed that someone had forced open the display case and the rear doors of a building. They had stolen the trophy. They left the way they came. None of the guards had seen or heard anything suspicious. One reported that he had seen a strange man by the public telephone when he had he visited the lavatory on the first floor. Scotland Yard took control of the case and gave it to the flying squad. The story went public across the world over the next day. Ransom demand. The next day, the chairman of the football association received an anonymous phone call. The unknown man said that they would receive a parcel the next day. The parcel was delivered it contained the removable lining from the top of the trophy and a ransom note that demanded £15,000. If the football association informed the police or the press, the thieves would melt the trophy down. Despite the warnings contact was made with the police. Police contacted a bank and created a false ransom payment out of bundles of ordinary paper, with real money only at the top and bottom, which were placed in a suitcase. A police officer impersonating the football association president waited with the fake money for the phone call. Futile pursuit. The phone was answered the parties agreed to arrange for the switch at Battersea Park. After meeting with a man named Jackson he promised to take them to the trophy. He jumped from a moving car and then ran from the flying squad. He was later captured in a house's garden, after the chase. He was arrested. At the station police recognized that Jackson was in fact Edward Bitchley, a convicted petty thief and used car dealer. Bitchley denied that he had stolen the cup and claimed that he could retrieve it if he was granted bail, which was denied. He was formally charged with the theft of the trophy. Recovery of the trophy. A week after the theft, David Corbett was walking his dog Pickles. Pickles began to sniff at a parcel that was lying under a hedge. It was wrapped in an old newspaper, tied with string. When he opened the parcel, he recognized the trophy when he noticed the winner's names on the bottom. He handed the parcel to the police. The stolen trophy was formally identified. Police announced the recovery of the trophy the next morning. The cup was returned before the opening of the 1966 tournament. Aftermath. Pickles the dog briefly became a celebrity, and appeared on TV and in some movies. David Corbett attended the players' celebration dinner after the World Cup final, and later received rewards totaling £6,000. The English Football Association made a replica of the trophy for public celebrations. In 2018, criminal investigative journalist identified the Jules Rimet trophy thief as being Sidney Kugel heir. The second theft in Brazil. In 1970, Brazil received the Jules Rimet trophy in perpetuity after winning the World Cup for a third time, but in 1983 the trophy was again stolen. The two men entered the Brazilian Football Confederation building and, after incapacitating the night watchman, stole the trophy and two other trophies. Suspects were arrested, and it was claimed that the trophy was melted into gold bars by an Argentine gold dealer. Doubts were raised because the trophy was not made of solid gold, it could not be melted into gold bars, and according to a Brazilian federal police officer who led the original investigation, it would be worth much more if left intact. The suspects were arrested, but when they received their sentences, they all fled. One was shot to death in 1989 by five men in a bar. One was rearrested and freed from jail in 1998. One died in a car accident in 1985, as he was going to the police central to testify on the crime. One fled to France and was arrested in 1998 at a bus station in Sao Paulo for drug trafficking. He was freed from jail in 2005, having never served the penalty for receiving stolen goods i.e. that is the trophy. The mastermind, Sergio Peralta, was freed from jail in 1998. He died of a heart attack in 2003. Aftermath. The trophy has never been recovered. Instead, a replica of the Jules Rimet trophy was presented to the Brazilian Football Confederation the following year. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe. Go to the community tab and vote for the winners in each of the 2022 FIFA World Cup's 64 matches.